Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me today for coffee and the Word. That time each day that we examine a small portion of God's Word, and then we apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So, grab that cup, and let's get started. We're going to return to Psalm 69, <clears throat> excuse me, once again this morning. And uh, as we do that, uh, we're going to look at all nations' prayer. Psalm 68, verses 24 to 31. Your procession, God, has come into view, the procession of my God and King into the sanctuary. In front are the singers, after them the musicians, with them are the young women playing the timbrels. Praise God in the great congregation. Praise the Lord in the assembly of Israel. There is the little tribe of Benjamin leading them. There the great throng of Judas princes, and there the princes of Zebulun and Naphtali. Summon your power, God. Show us your strength, our God, as you have done before. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings will bring you gifts. Rebuke the best among the reeds, the herd of bulls among the calves of the nations. Humbled may the beast bring bars of silver. Scatter the nations who delight in war. Envoys will come from Egypt. Cush will submit herself to God. Our God will one day be worshipped by people from all nations. Not because we vanquished them, but because God overcame their rebellious hearts. The International Assembly never happened at the physical temple in Jerusalem. Only in Jerusalem, the final temple united a holy God with a sinful humanity through his final sacrifice, have people come from nations been drawn together. Jesus says that prayer in his house should unite all nations. That's Mark 11. 17. Indeed, as depicted in this psalm, nothing unites people across racial and cultural barriers like prayer and praise. Even language differences can be overcome in such assemblies. God's worship is the key to healing the divisions of the human race. Lord, may our church never become beholden to any particular human culture. But let it grow more and more international, multiracial, and culturally and richly diverse. And may we strengthen the unity we have in you and display it to the world through glorious worship and prayer together. Amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.